Do you guys like to be called chicks or ladies? Hmm. <laughs> kind of depends. De yeah? Well, you know, on who's asking. Me. Chicks work. Chicks. Mm, I like ladies. Lady. Hi, movement. <laughs> so <laughs> protective you know it. Does your phone take pictures? <laughs> Come on, no. you guys step up to the you 21st know, century. Before I moved to LA, I didn't have a cell phone. Dreams don't come true, nothing happens to you I can't die in L.A. It's a beautiful spot, it's sunny and hot I can't die in L.A. There's something I always believed in Sunday. All right, ladies. <laughs> Drive safe. Tom, can I, uh. You see that? Legs right up to her ass. That is true. Nah, you weren't here. I swear. You like him young? Yeah, sure. Well, be careful. Long story. You know any good stories, Tom? No. Uh, I think every bartender should be a bit of a ranking to. A what? But uh, you got youth. <laughs> Old life ahead of you. And the world's your oyster. Sure, a bright kid like you. What's your IQ? I don't know. Probably uh, 86. Is that high? Yeah. Slow, huh? Hmm, Sunday. Yeah, I'm usually never in here at night. No regrets, yeah. Whole life ahead of you, whole life. Yeah, well, I'm not spending this dump if that's what you mean. Oh, God forbid. I bet you work out. Sure. <laughs> Good for the mind. Yeah? Go to the gym every day, do you? Uh, not every day. Well, keep at it. You're too young for regrets, too old for absolution. What is that? What's what? Can I ask you something? Depends. Do I look unhappy to you? Nah, you look great. I've been slow all day. I mean, why is everything moving so slow today? You know what, I don't know. Hey, listen. You ever get that? You know, like you're caught between one moment and the next. You're dreading it and hoping it will take the last one away at the same time. But by the time it gets here, you're too busy worrying about the next one. I have no idea what you're talking about. It's like it never gets here. You know, the next one it is. Is that like a philosophy or something? Uh, no, uh, just how it's been, you know, all day, I guess. Yeah, well, listen, I'm going to be close enough to Purple heart. Hmm? Purple Heart, that's pretty... Yeah, yeah, I don't like to talk about it, so... Well, you were talking about it to those girls. That was a pretty good story. Right, come on, man, well, let's go. Did you see the game today? No. I really don't follow sports, but it was on, you know, right up there. I mean, could have missed it. Come on, mate, let's go. My father always liked boxing. Boxing? Yeah. Come on, man. Hated All violence, right. but respected boxers. Mm -hmm. Said it was the people in the front row you had to look out for. Look, I'm closing up. Last call. <laughs> it's only 12.30. Yeah, you're the only one here, so... Well, you don't call last call at 12.30. No. No, you call last call at 1.30. Oh, tonight I call at 12.30. In New York, it's 4 o'clock. You are right. In L.A., it's 12.30. Well, it's my birthday. Father's Day, my, my birthday. Happy birthday. Let's go, man. Come on. Out. Just one more. No, oh, man, the bar's closed. Well, you right. just called last call. Yeah, you know, I cashed out. Oh. Come on. Go home. Home, sure. Sure, I'll uh, just go home. Look, man. One for the road, please. Top shelf where I can see him. All right, uh, let's just stay cool here. All right, buddy? 
You're not a very good bartender. I drink Stoli. See, I'm a regular Tom. Live right around the corner. Been coming in here every day for about 10 years now. <laughs> Heard a lot of good stories. Mostly sad. You're not gonna shoot me, are you? I hadn't planned on it. You want money? No. I have money. Nothing is what I want. Look, no, I, I just... If you were a good bartender, you would know my name. I mean, I know yours. <laughs> I guess I have you at a disadvantage. That's kind of funny. Funny? No. I'm, I'm sorry, this is not about you. This is my time. Hey, hey, hey! Ah! Ah, shit. <laughs> Had the safety on. It's harder than I thought. Come on, buddy. Hey, how about you give me that gun? How about you give me that drink? So, um, buddy, what's your name? That was terrible. I don't believe you at all. This is a little light, isn't it? Make another. Look. You don't have to stop killing yourself, but you can't kill yourself here. Is that it? It's my fucking birthday! Why would Shot you... Shot in the half for regulars, Tom. You want to be good and wasted on this flight. Look, whatever it is, I'm sure it can't be that bad. Hmm. Not that bad? Nah, not that bad. Pathetic. That what you're thinking? Say what you think. I won't get offended. I think you should go home and sleep this off. Sleep it off. You know I want to like you, Tom, I really do, but you got to stop speaking in cliches. You're the last person I'm going to talk to. I want to get to uh, know you a little. That okay? Sure. What do you like, Tom? Like? Yeah, what makes you happy? I don't know. Are you happy? <laughs> right now, or? In general. Yeah, yeah, sure. Why is that? Help me out here. How is one truly happy, not just content, truly happy? I don't know. You don't know. Well, make something up. This is kind of important. I don't want to wake up again. Why is that? Why are you happy and I am not? I don't know. What, what am I supposed to say here? Well, you aren't supposed to say anything. You're a bartender. You're supposed to listen. Well, how long have you been in this line of work anyway? Ah, uh, I don't know, a long time. You're kidding. Where? Shit, uh, hotels, restaurants. <laughs> Hold my hair. You don't say. <laughs> Jesus, this place is really going to shit. Well, I only took this to pick up a few shifts for Karen, you know, and one thing leads to another, and it kind of worked out in my schedule, and... Where are you from, Tom? Me? <laughs> yes, you. It's the art of conversation, and in a bar, sometimes starts with, where are you from? Florida. Big state. Orlando. Happiest place on earth. Tell me a dream you had, Tom. A dream? Yes, a dream. Tell me a dream you had or I'll kill myself. A dream you remember. I don't remember him. Doesn't have to be a recent one. Trust me, it's important. I did, I dreamt I met Brad Pitt. It was a party at my house, but it wasn't my house. You know how dreams can be, so. But anyway, uh, he gives me his hat. It's pretty cool. He said he was gonna give me a part in his new movie, and so. I mean, it's weird, but at the same time, it's, it's cool. It's, he was coming on to you. What? He was making a pass at you. Brad Pitt's a big fan. Come on, man, I don't believe that. Maybe not in real life, but in your dream, he was definitely gay. It's okay, Tom, it was only a dream. I had this dream the other night. I was uh, back in my grade school, but it was all run down. This girl I liked ran past me, and she was crying. I was like a specter, floating, only she could see me. She said she had just been accused of uh, cheating on a test. She said she didn't do it, but it was like she already knew that I knew that she didn't cheat. 
she was inconsolable and it scared me. I don't think I've ever been more scared in my life. I asked her how old she thought I was, and she said, uh, 13. I told her I was uh, 37. Then I woke up, but I lied. I'm 50 years old. I lied to her in a hysterical, hysterical little girl in my dream about my age. What do you suppose that means? You ever notice that human nature is always considered a negative thing? You know, it's human nature to steal, cheat, kill. It's never considered human nature to, uh, you know, save a baby from a burning building. Human history is just a list of wars, plagues, natural disasters. Jesus, what are you doing? Don't answer that. No, I, I wasn't. Wasn't I was what? Just... Round of drinks for the house. Make a decent bartender out of you yet. Think of this as an education, Tom. Pour yourself one, too. I don't drink. You what? I don't drink. You don't drink? How the hell did you get this job? You have to drink to be a bartender. <laughs> yes, yes, you fucking well do. Boy, no wonder you're not allowed to work the day shift. Yeah, allowed. Only alcoholics and Mormons don't drink, Tom. I mean, what kind of American are you? This country was found on booze, corn whiskey, or some call it maize. Why don't you drink, Tom? I just don't. None of your business. Well, sorry. If this I, wasn't uh... about me, right? Let's just. Leave me out of this. Guessing your dad was a uh, drunk and used to beat the crap out of you. <laughs> Nobody drinks to forget anymore. <sighs> Jesus, this country has really gone to shit. Now you can kill babies halfway around the globe by buying certain light bulbs, and nobody feels anything. No need for this anymore. It's all good. I bet your mother drank like a fish, too. You know why I said it's none of your business? Mine did. You know, you really suck at this. Tell me something, Tom, me boy. When I'm dead on the floor in front of you, will you take that money? No. Don't be stupid. When a drunk leaves something at a bar, you take it. You don't run out into the street after him. Christ, you take it in front of his drinking buddies and have a big laugh at his expense, don't you? I mean, it's human nature. This is your tip. I was supposed to hook up with that girl. Oh, I'm ruining your evening. Don't worry. This will be over soon. Then you can take that girl right here on the bar over my dead body. <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> Why did this note have to come in on my shift? Written all over it. Fate? Hey, what you guy got to do to get a drink in here? You know what? I think you've had enough. Cliché! <laughs> you remember how many drinks you served me? You don't. Four in three hours. And you were too busy talking up all those girlies. Look. See? I'm fine, thanks to you. <laughs> Besides, I'm not driving tonight. Why are you doing this to me? My God, I'm not doing nothing to you. I'm so much politics for such a simple conversation. You believe in God, Tom? I'll take that as a yes. Baptist? Do you own a dog? Come on, that's a simple question. Do you own a dog? Yes, I have a dog. Sure you do. I knew that. I find that most people who believe in God own dogs. Not that everyone who owns a dog believes in God. Cat people have a lot of doubts. I mean, I'm allergic to cats. Fish owners, I don't know what they believe in. Will you say something? What's wrong with you? Thank you. I'm fucking depressed. I'm going to kill myself. I'm a horrible, horrible person. Know thyself? Not always a good idea. Is there anyone I can call? 
Anybody you want to talk to? I want to talk to a bartender. I want to talk to you. Okay. I mean, I'm listening. I'm listening. I like women bartenders. Not girls. Girls don't flirt. They're transparent. Women bartenders flirt with you with the understanding that you're probably too drunk to get it up anyway. It's insulting and endearing at the same time. Karen. You don't find Karen attractive? No, I mean, I'm sure she was a box in her day, but... You don't work the day shift. Why is that? Uh, I don't know. You prefer nights? Yeah, of course. I mean, tips are better, and you got to deal with all that stuff during the, you know... Anyway, there's a lot of action. You don't really know what it's like to be lonely, do you, Chief? Uh, I do okay, if that's what you mean. That is what I mean. You do all right. Yeah, life's good. Do you even care that I have a gun to my head? I care. I don't know what the fuck to do. You never talked like this to anyone before. No. No, I never <laughs> talked to anybody out of suicide. I'm not a shrink. No. You're a greedy, arrogant little prick. Why can't you help me? Compassion? Sympathy? Fuck it. You know, I was watching these ants the other day. They were in my sink, all over my sink. So I flushed them down. And I felt a little guilty. But I noticed uh, the ones on the rim that didn't get flushed, they stood around for quite an appropriate amount of time in shock. You know, maybe five minutes. I figure that's about a, a year in human mourning. Maybe I should go talk to an ant. You an actor? No. You look like an actor. Really? It wasn't a compliment. You got kids? No. Well, are you going to ask me if I got kids? Do you? Do I what? Have kids. No. My wife has the kids. I'm a drunk. I'm a good drunk, and I love my kids. But my wife's lawyers convinced the judge that I'm an alcoholic. But I convinced him that she's a whore, so if I want, I don't have to give my wife any money. If I want, I could starve my kids out like a UN sanction. See, that's great. You know, that you could be so honest about that stuff. That's like the first step. My father? Excuse me, what do you think you're doing? I, what? How dare you try to project some drippy, sophomoric transference between me and your father? Let me tell you something, buddy. I am not your father. Yeah, no shit. What do you know about my father? Relax, huh? relax. Well, I said it was not him. I mean, my kids might be fucked up, but at least they're not a uh, shithole bartending school dropout. I'm a loser. And you're a sadistic puppeteer. Uh, All bartenders get that way. Mm. Specific kind of cruelty just to get through the shift, you know, like an orderly in an asylum. Let me tell you, it's one thing to drink oneself to death, and it's another to have the job pulling the trigger. You're the one with the gun. Yeah. I'm quite aware of that. It's called irony. Florida is showing, Tom. You think you're smarter than me, huh? Yeah, I know people like you. You blame everybody else for your problems. Everybody but you. Takes a village. You're an idiot. Fuck you. You hate me because I'm normal. You're jealous. I think you mean envious. But yes, you're right. I am jealous. Why is that? Oh, uh, whew. I don't know, uh, maybe because you're an old drunk? My drinking has nothing to do with this. I'm not an alcoholic. I can quit anytime I want. Now, can we get back to my suicide? Sure. What is good, Tom? Truth? Beauty? Is there more to life than just enjoying it? I don't fucking know, man. Why do you keep asking me these questions? And get that gun out of my face. You know anything about guns, Tom? That is a practical one. Poor, please. I just picked this one up the other day. Should do the job OK, don't you think? What kind of gun you got back there, Tom? What? Let me see it. Uh, I don't got to come back here. The one near the speed rack. The one you were going for earlier when you thought I was a drug-crazed evildoer. Right? Under here. Let me see it. Right. 
betrayed you. <laughs> well, you did something right. Congratulations. I mean, textbook. Who knows? You may talk me down off this ledge yet. What's the matter? You're not gonna do it. You're just yanking my chain. You ever think about it? Me? Yes, you, Tom Kendry. It. Final euphemism. Ever contemplate the notion of blowing your brains out? No. You should. Hey! Ah! Fuck! Ah! Ah! Oh, man, just, just give me the gun. Ah! Shit! Oh, no, no. Put it, put, put it down, put it down. Put it down. Yeah. Oh. oh, no, no, you should really try this. Oh, the contemplation of suicide puts everything in perspective. Why are we here? Introspective, very important. Okay, you made your point. You made your point, let's just stop. If you insist. No, I didn't mean it. As my father would say, you finally have a ringside seat, Thomas. Look. Your father's still alive, Tom? No. Sorry to hear that. M mind if I lock the door? Don't want them to bust up this little uh, after hours party. I mean, Jack will lose his liquor license. Yeah, think of Jack, right? He, he wouldn't like this either. Oh. 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 Yeah. Packs quite a wallet. <laughs> How did he die? What? Your father. It was an accident. That's terrible. Let me call the hospital, all right? And we can just say that, uh... What kind of accident? Uh, hunting. Wow. Hey, uh, throw me a bar rag, will you? I got some, uh, blood on the floor over here by the door. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. You and me. <sighs> Come on. Hunting. Yeah, that's terrible. Father Big Hunter? No. I mean, uh, I guess. <sighs> wow. Who shot him? Nobody. Uh, nobody? He was cleaning his gun. You're bleeding. It's really only a flesh wound, Tom. I mean, don't get upset. I'll change the subject. I'm really sorry about your dad. It was a long time ago. What about that gun, huh? It's larger. It's a nine millimeter. Uh, really? Yours to 38. Oh, you know guns. Fuck, yeah, I have one. One of these? A 38? Well, what a coincidence. Home protection? I mean, dangerous with, with, with kids around. Well, you don't have kids. Only a big old black dog. What's the worst thing that's ever happened to you, Tom? You're just asking me that so you can say the worst thing that happened to you, so why don't we just skip my stories and you go ahead with yours? Hey, now we're having a conversation. I mean, that was good. But really, I want to know. What is the worst thing that's ever happened to you? This. Very good, Tom. Humor is sexy. Oh, yeah, your dad. You really like this job? Cut the shit here. I told you, this is not about you. This is my time. Tell me a joke, you know any? I don't know any jokes. That supports my theory. People who never contemplated suicide don't have a sense of humor. You know what else? Nobody who does it believes in God or heaven or reincarnation. They want it all to stop. My idea of life after death is a dark, musty box and a sensation of nothing. That is heaven. You thought it all out, have you? <laughs> You have no idea how much planning goes into this, Tom. No idea. People think it's a, an act of desperation. <laughs> I love that. Like it's one bad night. I tell you, I take one bad night over the next 30 some years, I got left on this godforsaken shithole. How could you do that to your kids? Well, I could uh, give you a line about them being better off without me, uh, tell you about the Insurance policy I got. Insurance Wait, policies we... don't pay out the suicides. Oh, really? Yeah. That's right. But the truth is, I'm sick of not doing it for all the right reasons. I'm sick of being good. I want to be bad. Like you, Tom. Get some pussy. Fuck some chick on a bar. 
You know, decency is a show of weakness. I'm weak. I flush a man's down the drain. What's the worst thing you ever done, Tom? I don't know. Ever kill anybody? No. I don't think you've ever experienced self-hatred. Have you? I don't think so. I can't fucking believe this. You come in here and you wave a gun around and condescend me like I'm some sort of fucking idiot. And then you want me to be your buddy and talk you down? Talking someone down is a skill every bartender should have, Tom. So far, I'm afraid I might have to actually go through with this shit. You mean not once? Behind a bar on a, uh, on a Disney cruise or at a Shriners convention did you have to deal with it? No, this is ridiculous. This is fucking freakish. You're sick. Sick. <laughs> I'll observe it. And succinct. <laughs> My life is a terminal disease. Why am I dealing with you? Let's just call the cops. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Killing yourself is illegal. Why do you suppose that is, Tom? I don't know. You know, it's weird. I don't think I could kill anyone else. I don't think I could even kill someone in self-defense. <laughs> I'd make a good conscientious objector. Hey, you're a coward. Oh, that's right. You're an army man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You have this kind of action figure-like demeanor. Purple heart. Oh, I bet you killed lots of people. Regular desert storm trooper. Stupid war, but everyone loves a parade. Fuck you. You know, what do you know? I know all about you, Tom. Oh. Done my research. You have a dog and a gun. You live at 582 North Lindley Drive, number six. Wait a minute. Scorpio's a terrible liar. So you make up war stories. I don't make up stories. It's okay, Tom. I know about your war stories. I also know that uh, you treat women like dirt because you're afraid of them. Afraid? I think you're better than a day shift. But what you're really afraid of is not being able to understand a single one of our fucking conversations. When your dad beat you because you weren't good enough, he created a self-fulfilling prophecy, which in my professional opinion will crash down in about 15 minutes. Get out. This is not your bar. This is my bar. You know what makes it a bar, Tom? The regulars. Not the gigolo bartender, not the trendy kids that come in at night. Not the women you fuck on a bar, not even a jukebox. It's the color, the local color, me. The guy at the end of the bar who will entertain you make you feel alive and slightly superior. I'm a character, and I could tell a joke and spin a hell of a story, and it always turns out exactly the way you want it to. People like me. Then why don't you stick around for a while, a national treasure like yourself? <laughs> because there's a definite half-life to a, a music drunk. After about the hundredth time through, the jokes and stories start to sound like a cry for help. They're delivered with too much pathos. Your eyes become soft and needy and your laugh turns into a weapon. And a parting God bless comes off like a slurred curse. Fuck you. Another. You're a shitty bartender. Should've tried harder to stop me. I love this bar. I die in this bar. This bar. Did you really? Fuck my wife in this bar, Tom! It's funny. I didn't think I'd hate you this much once I met you. You're such an asshole. You even remember her? Oh no, you're not very good with names, Tom. It's Sandy. I'm sure you remember. <laughs> you told everyone. Told Gary from the day shift. Hey, you guys. The new kid told me he did this chick on a bar last night. Stupid bitch left her purse. <laughs> My wife's a lot of things, Tom. She's not stupid. She didn't leave her purse. I watched him take her ID out. Gary's probably one of the only people in this bar that didn't know my last name. That's the worst thing that's ever happened to me, Tom. A lot of people have fucked my wife, but not on my bar! I'm sorry! Just look at you. What's it feel like to kill someone, Purple Heart? And is it a rush? I read somewhere that uh, adrenaline fuses the memory. 
Remember, tell the story well, because it's got a funny ending. Here's the punchline. This is your gun. I picked it up today from your apartment. I don't own a gun, Tom. What are you talking about? Get your story straight, my little Rankin tour. He goes, this scene is a real forensic anomaly. Someone might get the wrong impression. What are you? Oh, you... I'm sorry, I forgot. You're from Florida. You fucked my wife, Tom, and that's more than enough motive for my murder. You're crazy. And you're stupid. I'll just tell him. Uh, don't tell him the truth. You're not very good at it, Tom. But I guess the suicide scenario is all you got to go with. Uh, that's a pretty hard sell when you think about it. Believe it or not, unlike your dad, I'm a pretty happy guy. I mean, life for the party. And besides, my wife's name is on that insurance policy, and you're right. They don't pay out to suicides. You and your mom know that from experience. That's not true. That was an accident. Well, um, my wife's gonna want that money. Trust me. <laughs> you don't want to go up against her in court. Who needs a lawyer when, uh, you got a crime scene like this? Now, let me see, uh, no! I don't want to leave any burn marks. You look too self-inflicting, eh? You put the gun down! You put the gun down! Everyone told me not to confront you, Tom. Regular hothead. A real war hero. No one's gonna believe you, Tom. People like me. I'm a regular. He's no fitness to me. To you? Well, uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and wash this carbon and bullshit off my hands. Then I'm gonna blow my brains out because of you. It's like your father did. You look terrible. I think you need a vacation, huh? Why don't you take that money, your tip, and just get the fuck out of my bar? Oh, oh by the way, Tom, happy Father's Day. Honey? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I love you. Nick. No, I'm not drunk, I'm, I'm shot. That kid Tom shot me. No, 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 just come. I'm at the bar. No, I'm not drunk. Hello, police. I want to report a shooting. Dreams don't come true. Nothing happens to you. I can't die in L.A. 
It's a beautiful spot. It's sunny and hot. I can't die in LA. There's something I always believed in. Someday. Of gold.